Welcome to video 4 with different characters in the music. Here we are going to talk about several different characters. Some who is quite common in classical music, some who is only interesting for strings, something else for pianists, and again something that is good to know for everyone. We start with trills. A trill is nothing more than a quick switch back and forth between two notes. This is something you often do to make a long tone more interesting. Trills can, however, be made differently and notated differently. The most common sign of trill is this. When you trill, you have to change between the notated note, here an F, and one scale step above, in this case an F. In music before about 1830, you usually start the trill on the note above the notated. Here you start with an F, but you should end on the notated note. It sounds like this. In newer music, it's more common to start with a notated note. In this case, an E. Even here, you should end on the notated note. In old music, this sign is often used for a trill instead of the normal trill sign. It's called a mordent. But if you mostly play old music, you usually just call this a trill. This is an inverted mordent. Instead of using the note above the notated, use the note below the notated. Here it would be a D. The inverted mordent is for the most part performed quite briefly, just once or twice down to the note below the notated, and end on the notated note. So it can sound like this, or Here you see a trill with a sharp above. This means that you have to raise the top note in the trill half a step. Here you can trill between E and F sharp. Here's the trill sign with a B above. This of course means that you have to lower the top note in the trill half a step. This is not possible with a trill on an E. So, to get a good example, we change the main note to a G. Now you should not trill between G and A, but between G and A flat. Now we come to a turn. You must play notes that revolves around the notated note. First play the notated note, one note above, back to a notated note, a note below, to finally end on the notated note. Now we have two signs for strings, upstrokes and downstrokes. I'm not 100% sure of the English names, but this is directly translated from the Danish names. When you hold the bow so that your hand is close to the instrument and stroke the hands away from the instrument, is called a downstroke. It's notated like this. When you hold the bow so that your hand is further away from the instrument and stroke your hand towards the instrument, it's called an upstroke. It's notated like this. Finally, three signs for piano players. This sign means that you have to press the forte pedal. The forte pedal is the one on the far right which make the notes hang even when you release the keys. And when you see this sign, release the pedal again. So it's down and up. Finally, this funny character is an arpeggio. It's also called a roll. Instead of playing all the notes in the chord at once, you play them quickly one after the other and keep holding them down so that you end up with having all the keys down. Start with the lowest note. And here's an example with three chords.
that's all for now. See you in the next video.